the camera is now fully working and now we're going to go into the workings of the camera, the buttons and what everything's for. So the first thing we're going to do is the battery. Pull the lever down and it flips open. I've already got battery in but Oops. <coughs> the battery is 4LR44 which is 6 volt alkaline battery I'll put the battery back in shut the door uh, the buttons or the dials on the top the first thing you have to do is set the film speed which is this button here silver button, press the silver button rotate the dial the film we're going to be using is Kentmere 400 so we're going to set the film speed to 400 and that's basically that on the other side this dial here you've got A, which I'd imagine is advanced. You press the button in the middle to turn the dial. You've got 60 and a flash symbol. So if you're going to use a flash, you have to sync it to 60. That's all you can do. It won't sync to any other speed. You have to be synced at 60. The next setting is bulb. If you press the shutter down, it will stay open as long as your finger is on the button. As soon as you release, it will shut. The next setting is a self timer. So press it down and it will blink. And when it gets to the end, it will go faster and then the shutter will fire. This camera is an aperture priority camera. You can't set the shutter speed. All you can set is the aperture which is on the lens. So it depends which lens you use as to what range of apertures you get. Once you set the aperture the camera will set the shutter speed. Now it's a stepless shutter which basically gives you more scope regarding the shutter speeds. On the side is a little silver button and this is a backlight compensation button. So if, if your subject is in front of the sun and you've got the sun behind you can press this button and it will alter the exposure by one stop. On the on the shutter release button you have an A, which I'd imagine is advanced, and an L. The L locks the camera. Next to that you have the film counter, which automatically resets once the film back is open. To open the film back, lift the collapsible crank and it will open. Close it and press the collapsible crank back down. Next to the collapsible crank at the top is a little black button. This is your battery test. When you press the battery test and look through the viewfinder, take the lens cap off, the needle which is on the right hand side will move. If it moves it means you have power in the battery and you're capable of taking a picture. Uh, to rewind the film there is a button on the bottom which releases the sprockets and you would use the collapsible crank to rewind the film. I'll go through that in more details once I've actually used the film because we're now going to load a film in it. We're going to go out to uh, Wellington in Shropshire and take a few pictures. The film I'm going to use is Kentmere 400. 
we're going to come back, we're going to develop the film and then I'll show you some of the films, some of the pictures. Welcome to Wellington, Shropshire's finest market town. Uh, I've come across this street, uh, right at the end of the street is a pub and it's called The Raven. And the first thing I think about when I see that is Edgar Allan Poe. So we're going to take uh, a few pictures of, of this. Um, uh, uh, change the f stop to 5.6 basically because it's not a very bright day so it'll increase the shutter speed a bit Give me a shutter speed of a thirty of a second. So I'll take a couple of pictures. And we'll move on. The Wellington train station. We got it on uh, F8. And the shutter speed is roughly a thirtieth of a second, so it's have to be very, very steady. Well, we've had uh, Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven, and now this, this reminds me of um, Will Hayes film Oh Mr Porter I took all the pictures we're going to rewind the film and to rewind the film you press the button on the back which releases the film in the in the chamber and then you basically just rewind and we're rewinding into the cassette now if you do it gently you will feel when the film comes off the sprockets hopefully there now once that's come off the sprockets because I want to leave a leader out you don't have to it depends how you're going to deal with the film afterwards. Pull the collapsible crank up and open the back. As you can see, I've left the leader out. Take the film out, close the door and close the collapsible crank. I'll put this away somewhere. So now what we're going to have to do, and this has to be done in complete darkness, is we're going to put the film on the spiral. So what I tend to do is you get, I get the film and I'll just square it off. This is one I bulk loaded myself so <clears throat> so once I've squared it off I do actually start the film onto the onto the reel. Now once I've put all that on there I get the centre I get the centre piece, put the spiral on and then put it in there and then put the cap on and then I can switch the lights back on. But obviously until then this is the lights have got to be off so you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing. Uh, 
you've got to make sure that everything is accessible because all you're doing is feeling for it in the dark so lights off and that's it now uh, I've put the film onto the spiral I've put the spiral into the drum and now all that's left is to process it I've got to mix some fresh chemicals so that'll be what I'll do next we've now developed the film Let's take it out, give it its final rinse get rid of that Crack open. Oh, wash or oh, squeegee the negatives. Just once. And because of where I hang them, I don't have enough room or it isn't long enough. So I tend to Cut the negatives while they're wet. Shouldn't really, but needs are. Uh, bloody did it, did it, did it, As you can see, we, we've got uh, some decent negatives. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to do a contact sheet and we're going to choose a negative to print out on the enlarger. So if you want to see all that content, please feel free to subscribe, like and subscribe. And if you hit the bell icon, it will notify you when the video is actually put on. So until then, see you next time.